This is the LRTI procedure, ligament reconstruction tendon interposition. I'm making an incision over the base of the thumb, which is arthritic. I dissect down, release the tendon so they don't get caught up in post-operative scarring. Here there's a little bit of instability of the uh, thumb metacarpal phalangeal joint, so I do a tendon transfer to take care of that problem. Then I dissect out the arthritic joint and I expose it. I remove the arthritic bone that is causing the pain. I check to make sure no parts are left behind, especially those bone spurs. Then I take the tendon and I isolate it so I can tension it and find it in the forearm. Isolate it in the forearm wound. And then I cut it. Bring it through to the wound on the base of the thumb. Suture the forearm wound. And I burr a hole in the base of the thumb's metacarpal that I can pass the tendon through. And this provides stability to the thumb so that the patient gets better strength afterwards. This is the ligament reconstruction portion of the procedure. And it passes nicely through the hole. To tension it, I drill the hole for a suture anchor. Looks like the head of a harpoon and a stitch is attached and helps hold everything together until it's fully healed and fully scarred in. And with my assistant holding the thumb in the reduced position, I put the stitches from the suture anchor through the tendon. This recreates the new ligament that provides stability for the base of the thumb. And I tie it. Now I use a second stitch to reinforce it as sort of a backup, tie the tendon to itself over the base of the thumb. Then I do the tendon interposition part of the procedure by sewing up the tendon. So instead of an arthritic bone that hurts, that the thumb used to rest on, it'll rest on a soft little tendon pillow, and so there'll be no pain. And I suture it in, below the thumb. Then I close up the joint. Make sure it's stable, which it is. Clean it up, sew it up. All done.